This is a demonstration of the Aeromarine Marine Research Tunnel Boat and V-Boat Design Program version 8.10. I'm Jim Russell, and this is a quick video to demonstrate the powerful feature for performance optimization analysis, Economy Mode. This great performance option completes a series of performance checks to find the lowest power and the lowest trim angle required to satisfy your boat's setup at each velocity step through the operating range. Let's get right to the operation by going straight to the first screen and selecting our Recreational Tunnel Outboard Design Model. This hull design is a 19-foot recreational tunnel with center pod and 225 horsepower mercury outboard. Okay, here's how fast and easy it is to do an analysis for your boat design and setup to predict performance through your full velocity range. I've already used the Auto 123 feature that calculated the maximum velocity for my setup of 85 miles an hour. We have several choices for more performance analysis. We've seen on other videos the detailed performance information we get with the Optimize Equals Angle performance analysis method. This option analyzes performance by automatically adjusting operating trim angles required when using full power through the entire velocity range. We could alternatively select the Optimize Equal Economy performance analysis method. This analysis completes a series of many performance checks to find the lowest power and the lowest trim angle required to satisfy the setup at each velocity step through the whole operating range. This setting is most often utilized to consider the boat's performance at best fuel economy. I'll show a simple example just to illustrate. In practical operation, a lower trim angle is normally desired. As a boat starts to plane, however, operators might apply less than maximum power for a controlled transition to planing and often a bow high attitude will result. This is the lower power or economy mode. Alternatively, more power could allow a lower trim angle and more of a bow down attitude. Operators may find that applying more power allows for a more desirable and a lower trim angle. This is the full power analysis mode. So we don't always want to examine the full power situation. In our optimize for economy analysis case here, I've set the software to analyze performance using a minimum power setting of 40%. The program will figure out what power and what trim angle are needed. Optimize for Economy mode performs many performance trials, testing a range of power settings, starting at our setting of 40% minimum power, and finding the minimum trim angle required for each setting. This amazing feature examines all of the performance trials and presents the results for the minimum power and the minimum trim angle at that power, that's required to meet the setup condition. So when I click on the Calc Perform button, I get the completed performance analysis and a view of the per powerful performance report wizard. This version of the report wizard is fantastic. The report wizard has reviewed all of the detailed performance results for the entire velocity range and has compiled all the key performance measures and advice that's specific to my boat design and setup. The report shows us that we start at 35 miles an hour where we need a trim angle of 2.6 degrees at our 40% power setting and can accelerate to our maximum velocity of 85 miles an hour using 82% power and a trim angle of 4.8 degrees. The report also shows us all the different drag contributors, a discussion on dynamic stability and on porpoising of the design and way more stuff. I can click details and now I get the full performance output screens that show how the design behaves through its entire velocity range. And I can see it all in graphic format too. For example, the trim angle graph shows the required change in trim angle from 2.6 degrees at 35 miles an hour and increasing to 4.8 degrees trim at top speed of 85 miles an hour. On the power graph, we see that we can achieve our 35 miles an hour with 40% power and need 83% power at 85 miles an hour. Or we can see dynamic instability performance, and we can see that our design is susceptible to porpoising throughout the velocity range since our indicator is below the pink line in the porpoising instability region. Now I'm going to save this performance of our economy low power setup and return to the input screens to test another design. I'm going to illustrate the differences with a low power setting compared to a full power setup. With the low power performance example that we just analyzed, we typically see better fuel economy higher trim angles, lower wetted surface, but less visibility and more susceptibility to porpoising. When we analyze the performance of a full power setup, we will see a lower trim angle, more wetted surface, which is why we need more power at the same velocities, but better visibility and better porpoising resistance. So I'm just going to change our minimum power setting to 99% of full power 
and then I'll just click Calc Perform again and we'll look at the new performance result. We get the report wizard again showing a narrative of results of our modified power setup. I'm just going to click Details to go straight to the graphic comparison of low power versus full power performance. So here's the trim angle comparison showing that the low power setup requires higher trim angles than the full power setup. And looking at the graph of wetted surface, we see that the low power setup performs with less wetted surface than the full power setup. On the power graph, we've got the full power case of max power, and the low power case has power increasing from about 40% at 35 miles an hour to 82% power setting at top speed. Finally, on the porpoising graph, we see that the full power case, with its lower trim angles of course, is less susceptible to porpoising and in the stable zone throughout most of its velocity range. Okay, that's a quick demo of the performance optimization analysis economy mode. The software feature examines lowest power required and lowest required trim angle and gives us a lot of flexibility in performance analysis. It's easy to compare to the two designs based on changing hull design or setup parameters. There's a lot that we can learn about the performance of any boat by trying different designs, dimensions, or setups, and we can see results quickly on all the screens of the Tunnel Boat and V-Boat Design Program.